you, Leaf. And again, James, the last game. Avocado fighting back through the lower bracket as the number four seed, and the dudes as well we saw them earlier. And this is probably going to be just as close as every other match that we have seen today. And uh, look, all the marbles are on the table. Lower bracket, last spot to get it. We've already seen all these other rival series teams, now rival series teams. It is not an easy field. It, when even when you make it, but this is what gets you in. Yeah, absolutely, and, and you know, just talking about quality as well. These these are two teams that I expect us to see a very quality series of Rocket League. Previous RLCS players, Olhe, Timon, Ajax, all these guys coming in here trying to compete. And then Ralph bringing some experience on the side of the dudes, but two upstarts in skills and Joe Freshness. You heard Corelli on the desk. That is his man to watch, and you can understand why such a big reason the dudes made that series competitive off the kickoff. It's already chaos happening on the orange box, but it is the dudes that get it out for now. Avocado looking to get things started. Still kicked down for Ralph, and Skills was another player, James, when we were watching this game. You, know, you had said Skills, that's a player you felt like kind of came out of nowhere for you and was really making some making some nice plays in their previous series. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a, a lot of the, the names that we see here, names we've seen in the past, Ajax, Timon, Zolhe, Ralph, you know, Joe Freshness and Skills are players who have kind of, you know, tried to... to Make their rise happen relatively recently, just going on the grind. Skills and Joe Freshness, players that I didn't necessarily expect to see up here competing at this level, playing this well. And it's good to see them now just one series away from getting into the rival series. And Ajax can't force his way across the back wall. And it's been very, a very slow start past the beginning of the game when all six cars were tied up on the orange half of the field. A very long rotation for Avocado, just trying to control the midfield, but Ajax got caught up, allowed Skills to take control. Joe a little too far up. He got under the ball a little too high. Couldn't get a solid shot on net because of it. Still around the corner, Timon catches it out. Back over to Timon, off the pass from Zolhe. It's been locked down here for the dudes. Ralph slips under Ajax on the play and still with it. And it's good play from Ralph here in midfield, but it does allow Avocado to move here with Timon off the ramp. Timon looking for Ajax, Joe Freshness able to at least clear it out, out to the corner. Yeah, that was so critical that Joe just got a piece of that ball because Ajax was coming in ready to score it. But Joe able to make that play not happen, able to break it up. Can't find the touch. Zol. Winning one challenge off the corner. Looking for Timon. He finds his man. And scoring the first goal of the game are Avocado. And you can see here, Zol finding Timon beautifully. Just pinching that ball on the ground. Timon waiting out in the midfield just because he had hope that Zol Hay was going to be able to get it out to him somehow. And that's exactly what happened. And Timon punching in that first goal of the series. And heading into the rival series play-ins and even the qualifiers, it's a lot of a lot of love for this avocado team, but enough about them. How about the dudes? Demo in midair. Ralph picks the goal. His skills, you can see him hunting team on down and then jumping off the wall to Demo, the final defender, and Ralph blasting it into the net. That was a ruthless play by skills and the dudes. Just over halfway through, it did not take the dudes long to equalize. And Zol punts that one over to Timon. He wins cleanly on the challenge. Not gonna mean too much. Joe Freshness back over to Skills. Skills off the ramp, does he have it? He did, but Timon was there to block. Joe carrying it around, getting tied up for all three members of Avocado. And Ralph just takes advantage and scores because of it off the triple commit in the corner. And you know, Ralph is one of the dude's OGs. And again, challenging it, recovering quickly, using up every ounce of boost to put that shot on. You could tell that the defense was not expecting Ralph to recover and put a threatening shot on net, but that's exactly what he did. And now the dude's taking the lead. Straight off 
the ceiling, skills. Trying to force his way through with Ralph. And again, Avocado, they've had those long booming clears early in the game. They didn't really work their way into the net. They had a couple of shots. Demo maybe opens it up, but Ralph follows it off the ramp. Still, it's a good sequence for Avocado. Joe doesn't have the angle. Ajax challenged by Skills on the play, flying in his soul. He's blocked by Skills as well. Timon looking for Ajax, and he's got him. Ajax can't get back to it. Joe has the block. Timon off this corner. Skills had it read the whole way, forcing Zolhe back. And that was some good defense on low boost by the dudes. Ralph, he, he was just picking up pad after pad, burning that 12 boost, but able to survive and retain the lead. So we approach the final minute now. Joe up off the backboard. It was a good pass to set it up initially. Ralph again off the back wall. Trying to work their way in here, but really what this is doing is just killing a ton of time off the clock. You work laterally on the blue half of the field. A booming clear is denied by Ralph. A great challenge in midfield as the dudes continue to eat time off the clock. And even there, Joe saw T-Man team on flipping in for the challenge and still got it by him, melting even more time off the clock. Now scoring chance, but that one easily saved by Zoll. And not just booming it from midfield and just trying to put your car behind the ball. It's also finding the passes in midfield and really making Avocado think about where the dudes are going with the ball. Time expiring, looking for one more chance, cleared away by Skills. A great defensive effort all the way around. They say that the best offense is a, the best defense is a great offense, and that's what the dudes had there in the back half of game one. Yeah, I was, I wasn't sure where you were going with that. Don't worry, I'll get there. <laughs> but yes, exactly. The best defense is a good offense because how are you going to get scored on when you're shoving the ball into their net the entire game? Absolutely. So Ralph, especially though, he 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 stepped up to a different level. We saw even the solo goal by him off in the corner against the entire Avocado defense, just recovering quickly and putting the ball in. And then we saw that insane demo play from Skills, who not only did he get the pass out to Ralph, but then he jumped off the wall to de demo the final defender who was in the air above the net. So the dudes whipping out everything they had to get this win. Avocado, despite scoring first, just could not hold on. And they need to find more comfortability in the midfield. They really struggled to, to find each other in space. It was more so just, all right, boom it out to the corner high off the sidewall. Or, okay, that didn't work. All right, well, I'm just going to make this challenge in midfield, and, well, now I have to run back and get boost really quick. It was just a, a snowball of, of negative effects that were happening for Avocado. In that thing, that the double commit that turned into a triple commit, all of them running into each other in the corner, that, if, to me, just kind of spelled how the game happened for Avocado overall. They couldn't get anything going, couldn't start the engine. Yeah, absolutely, but still, it's game one. In this series, you know, this is where you get those jitters out. Now, they have to step up and play. Avocado, they have all the tools in the toolkit. They have a, a team that is seasoned, a team that's been in the rival series before. But now they have to get back yet again. And Team on chasing this down quickly, but he can't get back to it. And Avocado sees all, bought some time for Ajax, just kicking it right back. And Ajax had plenty of space for Avocado there. Timon trying to take control, but the ball got a little too far away from him. Skills, he took it back. And you'd like to see Avocado utilize this space that they're given early. Timon can't get back to that. Skills again on the challenge. He has been just a disaster for, uh, excuse me, the dudes have been a disaster for Avocado to try to get by in general, but Skills has just had all these challenges in the first minute, has kept the dudes up early. Skills in the corner, catches it, tried to get around team on. Can't do it. I mean, even there we saw in defense, denying the backboard, and Skills is doing a good job of getting in the way. That's a now good again, cle clearing off the back line. It just isn't happening. Skills able to Work his way back over to Ralph. Off the side, Zolhe wins it cleanly. He doesn't have enough boost to follow. Timon looking back to Zolhe. Oh, he He's got Ajax. Ajax a little too far, but Ajax catches it out. And now the entire defense running back, racing to try to make a touch onto the ball. Joe has it up high, looks for the dunk, can't get it. Zolhe hangs on. But you can see how quickly, you know, 
Fortune can t a a turn and he can start a counterattack right there. Dude's almost able to just turn around and, and immediately score, but good defensive presence of mind by Avocado. And a great demo by Joe Freshness as well. If there was gonna be a follow-up, well, denying it is the best option. Taking the player out of the field and also getting rid of any boost they may have had. And struggling on the defensive end. Off the corner, all Timon can do is hit it off to the side wall. He's got some space, looking for Zolhe. Challenged again by skills on the play. The team on force back to midfield, can't win the challenge. Again, the dudes are dominating the midfield boost, the midfield challenges. Everything has been working for their favor, but give credit to Avocado so far. They've only allowed two shots on net yeah. halfway through the game and a stark contrast from the first half. And, and that shot there from Joe, that's a shot you really don't want to make. You know, allowing a bouncing ball to go to the final defender, all you're doing is enabling them to start a quick counterattack, and you really don't want to do that. At least keep the ball in the air to prevent those long clears. But this game has been neck and neck. Avocado and dudes, neither one of them budging an inch as we are still scoreless with just two minutes left to play. But oh. still, it looked like we might have seen one for Avocado, but holding firm is the dude's D. And it was super sad for Timon. Oh my goodness, but super amazing for Joe Freshness. one nothing with less than two minutes to go. And I said it was a, a stalemate, but no. Joe Freshness off the backward to himself. An unassisted goal making it happen for the dudes. Avocado's best opportunity came right before that goal too. Timon was on point on the on the assault. He got the boost, he even got the bump on net, but there were so many cars tied up, they couldn't score this off the crossbar, they can't get it done either. Ajax keeping it close, skills again on the challenge. This time, Timon's there to pick it up. You need to find a way out of this corner. We're waiting for the touch from Joe Freshness, and Joe made him pay. Ralph still working around the edge. Oh, and Skills can't catch this out. This is good for Avocado. Ajax, that shot a little too close to Joe. He had two teammates available to him to try to spread that dude's defense. Cannot do it. The dudes hang on to this one goal lead. Maybe add to it off the crossbar. Ralph's shot, not good. Joe winning that challenge as well. And now we're starting to see the boost starve come into play. Challenge after challenge. Boost having to be used up by Avocado, and you can see Joe Freshness just staying at the midfield, stealing boost from team on there. And the assault is on. And the back pass out to mid gives skills the opportunity off the back wall. Joe can't finish. And team on, he swings by one attacker. Skills is there on the rotation. The dudes have not given up possess possession for what feels like eternity. And Joe Freshness has all day to get this to Skills. Skills wins it cleanly off the backboard. Shot on target, but it's too oh. light. Zolhe able to make the save. And Joe, he went in for the bump. It was the right play. He had zero boost, so he couldn't be much of a threat. Zolhe dodged him, but had he gotten that bump, that would have been a wide open net. Just a suffocating attack from dudes. Like you said, Jorby, the best defense, a good offense, and that has been playing out in game two as well. Just absolute control of the pitch. The dudes are running on all cylinders right now. Maybe Avocado can tie this up, but Skills is there every step of the way. Anytime you need a man to challenge the ball, Skills has been your guy. The dude's up 2-0 in the series. And it's like they're making guacamole. They're, they are just crushing this Avocado right now. And it's and it's been, it's been tough for Avocado. Not a hard shell, James, just to, just to follow you up on that. But again, you, you saw some passes from Avocado there in that game, which is something that I felt that they just yeah, and, 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 there, and that one goal, only a single goal happening in the series, and it was an amazing effort from Joe Freshness. He did it all by himself, not only winning the challenge there, winning another challenge, and then here, the self-pass off the backboard, getting that double tap, executing it absolutely beautifully. That was the difference maker in game two. And not only that, Joe, he was sitting there at the midfield, continuing to deny boost, 
put the ball in a dangerous spot. The dude's all around having a great game, but Joe Freshness, he really was the one who shone above the rest for the dudes in game two. In the pre in previous series, we talked about other players who were community workhorses. The car specifically is someone that we mentioned. Joe Freshness is another one of those players that just played in every community tournament. Just grinded six mans until his fingers fell off and just worked and worked and worked. And now he's at this point and it feel it almost feels comfortable where they don't have to get a lot of shots on net. Their possession game has just been so solid. It's, it kind of reminds you of old school NRG, the way used, they yeah. used to play, which is, you know, they wouldn't blow people out of the water, but they would control the pace of the game. They would have a majority of the scoring chances and they would just suffocate their opponents. Now the dude's doing exactly that. But one goal now, one or one game rather, separating them from a spot in the Rival Series, the final spot in North America that's available. Avocado, they have no more chips in the reserves, and they know it, they're going all in. Ajax scores the first here for Avocado. And Joe, he missed his hit there, and Ralph also just couldn't make that save. Ajax, the shot couldn't have been placed much better had there been someone on the ground and that they could have hit that to safety, but no, Ajax still forcing that one through. And Avocado up by one. Some early relief for Avocado. Just struggled to find the back of the net all series long. They're not going to find their work any easier for the next four minutes and 30 seconds. Timon gets a clear down. Skills back to Joe Freshness. That shot blocked by Ajax. And Timon trying to get up there quickly. Took an Took a close angle to the ball, and all three members of the dudes trying to commit on the play. One man back as well, but Avocado too slow on the transition for it to matter. And we see Ralph and Joe both going for that one. A little bit of a communication issue. Joe will have to retreat back. And a light shot, or a low shot, not a light shot, by Timon. Another one up high, it's saved by Skills. The dudes trying to keep the score line as Low as it can be, Zolhe's shot is blocked as well. This is probably the best sequence Avocado put together all series long. Finally, the dudes get a breath of fresh air. Yeah, that was an extended attack there by Avocado, and it's not over yet. A battle for possession right now. See if they can keep it going, but dudes stabilizing. But Ajax leading the counterattack. Numbers advantage right now for Avocado. Skills trying to play it slow, but Timon was right there, forcing Joe Freshness to pick up the pace. Up high, Ajax wins the challenge against Skills. And another win, and again, a key component of this series has been the midfield boost battles and the corner boost battles as well. The pitch control has been squarely the dudes to lose, and Avocado, they've really fought back for the boosts right now. It's been pretty even so far in game number three. Trying to push down the pitch. All they really can do is dump the ball in the corner. That's all they have been doing. And Joe Fresh is just there trying to find skills. Oh. Blocked off the double commit by Zolhe. But we even saw a player jump up to try to make a deflection right in front of him. So three players in total jumping up for that ball. Still Zol. Gave way for skills. Joe Fresh just has a free ball. Says thank you for the tie game across the box, and the dudes back in it. And it looked like Joe Fresh just was going to get blocked here by Ajax, but just a blistering shot from Joe as he gets it by the defender. And Joe, he was the MVP last game, now tying up the series again. Joe making a name for himself on this stage. And a touchdown for Ajax. A great pass out the skills. He can't find his man. Zolhe got in the way. Made the angle tough to commit to. And for this Avocado team, Zolhe, Ajax, team on. We talked about this team having that rival series experience, having the experience at the top level, and the dudes are bringing it to him. Ralph, the only player on the dudes with rival series level experience. But Joe Freshness and Skills have been upstarts. We've seen plenty of players over the past few seasons 
come out of seemingly nowhere if you follow the RLCS and Rival series to just step up and become top tier players. A win on the challenge off the back wall forces Zolhe back again. Joe wins the boost, wins the ball, but the challenge does not get back out. But still they were able to steal the boost from Ajax. However, Ajax getting a demo here, leaving it for Zol. Self pass and blocked again. Knocked out to the side by Skills. Still, this is good for Avocado. Team on off the back wall. Ajax side flipping it out here for Zolhe, who can only hit it laterally out to the other corner. And Skills, well, it's only out for Timon. Timon looking for the bump. He takes out Joe, and he got the boost. Right now, hurting for boost are the dudes, but still Avocado, they can't oh, find a shot on net. And a good challenge by Ajax. And that was a huge win, actually, from Ajax. Had he lost that 50-50, no one was back. And that could have been the game-winning goal for the dudes, but fortunately, Ajax was able to get it for Avocado. That was a good idea from Zolhe as well to pass the ball out. He had a teammate close to him. It was just well challenged again by the dudes. Their defense has been strong. By the majority of the series, the dudes haven't had to play defense. When they have had to, it has been rock solid. 20 seconds left, pressing for the goal that will put them into the rival series. The dudes, starting with Skills, ended up dumping it off to Zolhe here. Demo on the back end, Joe looking for Skills. Ajax slaps it oh, the back on the transition. Nothing yet for Ralph. Can he kill it here? No. Team on is there. Ajax on the Asani hits the crossbar. We go to overtime. Two chances at the end for Avocado. Now, their tournament life on the line. They are one goal away from being knocked out. It's a huge win for Ajax on the kickoff. Timon around the corner looking to win against Ralph. He can't, but on the rotation. Solhe, his shot blocked by Joe. Now the dudes look to turn it around. A great pass out to Timon. Can he get there? Joe's at least on the challenge, but it's still Avocado with possession. Ajax smartly past Ralph, trying to work his way by, but Ralph is not making his life easy. And Joe, winning midfield, Huge challenge. he wins the challenge again, and challenged by Zolhe, it's not over, coming close as Skills, and off to the corner, Demo on the back end, it opens up the net, here's Joe, high off the backboard, does he have the angles, kicked out towards Ralph, two members come in on Avocado, but playing it safe are the dudes, nothing's gonna come quickly, they still have the ball. Massive pressure coming out from the dudes, and especially Joe Freshness, he was able to get the challenge win and steal multiple boosts on the blue side and now the dudes gearing up for more attack oh ralph to and that's it freshness. the dudes move on to the rival series and how fitting that is it that joe freshness is the one that put it in he has had a stand out series joe freshness so fresh so clean knocking it in they are moving on into the rival series